band on above the knees and um, just come to the side of the mat. So we're going to just start with a little walk, keep the feet nice and wide, tummy in, shoulders back, off we go. So when you get to the edge of the mat, we're going to come down into a squat. Give me three squats. Down for one, pressing the knees out into the band, two, down and up for three, over to the other side. Keeping those knees, I mean the feet nice and wide. And then three squats, press those knees out into the band, keep the tummy drawn in. Two, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. We go again, across we go. Good stuff. We go down again, three more here. One, two, and three. Final time, really working into the glutes, core engaged. Last time with the squats, three here. One, two, really warming up the legs. And three, and then just come into the middle of the mat. Just place the hands on the hips, shoulders back, tummy in. Come into a hip hinge. So there can be a slight softening in the knees. And we're just getting that really nice stretch in the back of the legs. Come side on, getting a nice flat back all the way up, all the way. So your back is parallel to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. Two more. And one more. Good, and then back to front. We're going side lifting the leg to the side, shift the weight over to the side, have the hands on the hips, you can really feel the core, the waist working as we lift the leg. And lift for two, and lift for three. Tummy in, shoulders relaxed. Four, and five, good. Six, and lift, seven, feel it in the standing leg, and the leg that is lifting. Eight, two more, nine, and 10. Shift the weight to the other side, and we go, lift and lower for one, two, nice, three, four, good, five, and up, six, seven, eight, good, really feeling those legs now, keep going, last one, and rest there, good stuff, come side on, bend both knees. We're coming low, we're staying low, nice flat back, tummy in, we're coming into a tap back, Tap the leg back and in. Tap it back and in. We're looking down at the floor. Tummy's engaged. And that really, that front leg is doing the work. It's staying in this squat position. We tap back, we've got five more. Five, four, three, nice. Two more, two, and one. Stand up for a second, just release. And we go back down, other side, tap it out. So we're really shifting the weight. The weight is in the heel of this bent leg. Two, inhaling and exhaling, getting some nice deep breaths, filling the body with oxygen as we work, not holding the breath. Five, tap it back, nice and light on the toe as you tap back. Six, seven, keeping it relaxed in the shoulders. Eight, two more, nine, and 10, and we come up. We fall forwards, hinge forwards. Place the hands on the floor, relax the head down, take in a deep breath, shake out the head. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. And then just bend the knees, come down onto all fours. From here, we're taking it into a fire hydrant. Keep the belly drawing in, lift the knee out to the side. We lift. And lift, still working really into the glutes. Three, and lift for four, and five, and lift for six, good. Seven, tummy really engaged, keeping the back nice and flat. Eight, nine, and 10, straight into the other side. Lift and lower for one, two, three, good, four, Gaze looking down, neck is in line with the spine. Seven, really pressing as hard as you can into the band. Eight, 
nine and ten. Have a moment, just release for a second in that child's pose. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. We come back up, we go into a donkey kick, flex the foot, we press up. Try not to arch the lower back as you press up, keep the belly pulling in and then heel is pressing up to the ceiling so the foot's flexed. Again, gaze down, keep the belly drawing in, pressing up, five more here, five, four more, four, three, two, and one. Changing sides, and press, and press, good. Three, and up for four, five, six, seven, good. Keep going, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Tuck the toes, push back, down the facing dog. Take a deep breath here, press the heel down, look to the belly, inhale, and exhale. Walk the hands towards the feet, slide the band off, and just move it to the side. Cool, so from here, we're coming into a squat with a pulse. So I want you to come down and give me one pulse and stand up. Two pulses, you know where this is going. We go three, one, two, three. Keeping that imaginary band now, pressing those knees out, four and up, five pulses, five, four, three, two, one, and up, good, six, five, four, three, two, and up, we do seven, seven, six, getting nice and deep into that squat, weight in the heels, three, two, one, we come up, we do eight, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe there we do nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last time we do ten and down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward fold. Grab the elbows, drop the head, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, chin to chest, and slowly roll all the way back up to stand. Good. Turning, coming to the back of the mat. Hands on the hips, hinging forwards, walking the hands into a downward facing dog. Holding here, looking to the belly. Come forwards into a plank. Look in between the hands, squeeze the glutes, suck the belly in, and hold. Press back. Downward facing dog, heels go down. Come forwards, plank position, holding here. Inhale, exhale, push back, suck the belly in as you press back, big stretch in the back of the legs. Inhale to come forwards, and exhale to push back. Heels pressing down. One more, come forwards, and hold, and push back. And hold. Take the hands a tiny bit further back towards the feet, and then we're going to touch the opposite ankle with the hand. Take it down, we reach. So you're getting this extra stretch in the hamstrings. Four, we're doing ten, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine and 10. We walk the hands forward, we're back in our plank position. We come onto the side of the feet, we raise the arm up, we're in a side plank, we do dips, we do five dips here, down and lift for one, getting low, getting high for two, down, up for three, good, four, one more, and five, shift over, plank position, we go to the other side. Five here, down, and raise for one, two, three, really working and strengthening the waist, four, one more, and five. Come into a plank position. From here, you're going to come into a shoulder touch, so we're just going to do one side. Take the right hand up to the shoulder and tap the floor, keeping the hips level, 
two. Looking down, three. Really working the core here, four. Inhale and exhale, five, six. Using the breath, staying strong, you've got it. You've got it, eight, two more, nine, and 10. We're not gonna rest, we're going straight to the other side. Keep the hips level and lift for one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly there, nine, and push back, down the facing dog. Breathe and relax. Three deep breaths, inhale, exhale one, Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Taking the right leg high into the sky, lift, bring the knee to the outside of the elbow, come into a plank, squeeze, knee touches the elbow. We push back, three-legged dog. We come all the way forwards, knee to elbow, and hold. We push back, we do one more. Big stretch as you push back and then squeeze, and hold for five, four, three, two, push back, down facing dog, foot goes on the floor. Left leg, take it high, big stretch, other side. We come in, squeeze and hold, push back. Big stretch, inhale, exhale, squeezing into the waist, getting that knee to the outside of the elbow, and push back. Last one, here we hold it for five, Four, three, two, and one. Push all the way back into our downward facing dog. Relax the head, wiggle it all out. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Hands go on the hips and come all the way up. And we're coming into a little balance. So from here, standing up nice and tall, bring the knee in towards the chest. Now either hold on to a wall or the side, or do it freestanding. So we're taking it down to the floor, whoops, without kicking the, the wall behind you. Down, and then coming all the way up. Nice and slowly, inhale, and exhale, as you stand. Using the core muscles to help with the balance. Getting that nice stretch in the standing leg. Inhaling down, exhaling up. If you're really wobbling and it's really frustrating, then having a finger on the wall or something, just to help with the balance is fine. Three more on this side, really trying to stay focused, staying in the body, in the moment, really helps with the balance and concentration. Last one, and then we change sides. And breathing down, inhale, and exhale, inhale down, and up for two, good, inhale, and up for three, and down, four, really strengthening the hamstring and the glute in this one, five, Six, keeping balance, down and up and focus, seven, eight, nearly there, two more, nine, and ten, and release there. Good, so from here, taking the feet nice and wide, we're coming into a side lunge, we're going to bend and all the way up to stand. Over to the other side, getting nice and deep and nice and slow. All the way down, weight is in the heel. As we go down, come up, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale as you push up. Four more, four, Three more, three, two more, two, and then we're doing a pulse, we stay down on this side, we pulse it for ten, nine, weight going back, eight, 
seven, no pressure on the knee as we do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up over to the other side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand all the way up, hands on the hips. Hinge forwards and then take your peace fingers and grab your toes. Pull yourself down. Straighten the back as much as you can. Lifting the sit bones up and relax the head. Give it a shake out. Let go of the head and the neck and pull. And stay here for five, four, three, two, and place the hands on the hips, straight back, come all the way up to stand. We're going back down onto the floor, plank position, taking the toe out to the side as wide as we can. 10 repetitions, we take it wide for one, all the way to the other side for two. Nice and light as we tap the toe, not letting the foot rest on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down, hands and knees. Push back, child's pose. Reach the arms forward, take a deep breath in. Back up, plank position, coming into a knee drive. Getting the heart rate up for a second, driving the knees in towards the chest. In, in, in. Three, four, 20 here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, good, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, and one, and rest, child's pose, push back. Walk the hands forward and lift the butt up, coming into puppy dog stretch, so we're here, bum is high, take the palms together, Elbows on the floor, forehead touches the floor. From here, fingertips, take them all the way up and down. Maybe move, wiggle the elbows forward slightly so you get this really strong stretch through the triceps into the shoulders. Breathing here. And then just hold it wherever it feels super tight. Holding here for three, two, and one, and walking the hands back up into all fours position. Good, so from here, we're gonna take it into bird dog. So I want you to take um, the opposite arm and leg, raise it up and hold. You're looking down at the floor, the belly is drawing in, working the whole spine, breathing here. One straight line from the ankle, to the wrist, we're not arching the spine, we're keeping it straight, we're drawing the belly in. Squeezing the glute and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Other side, good. Really reaching the heel back, really reaching the fingers forward. Shoulder of the other hand of the other side drawing back. Draw the belly in, looking down, working the stomach, working the back, and staying here and breathing. Good. We're here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. From here, we're coming down onto the floor in a plank position. Interlace the fingers and we're coming onto the forearms and the, we've got a nice triangle base. So, no arching the spine, we really tuck the tailbone under, sucking in the belly and coming up here. We rock forwards onto the tiptoes and then we push all the way back, heels go back. Not letting the bum come up or down, rocking forwards and back, keeping one straight line. Looking down at the floor, Inhale and exhale. Four, ten of these guys. Five, good. Six, squeeze the tummy in, squeeze the glutes. Seven, and push back. Eight, nine, 
and 10. Knees go down to the floor, push back into a child's pose. Walk the hands over to the left and get a big stretch down the right side of the body. Walk the hands over to the right and get a big stretch down the left hand side, really reaching the left arm up and across, big stretch in that side. Good, taking the hands back to centre, tucking the toes, pushing back into a downward facing dog. Press the left heel down towards the floor, take the right leg, raise it up, lower it down, lift it up, and lower it down. So we're getting this really beautiful stretch in that left leg, taking that right leg as high as you can, really strong in the arms, so we're really strengthening the arms and the shoulders. Two more here, last one. Then bring that right leg all the way forwards and come into a pigeon pose. Sliding the left leg back, come up onto the fingertips. Inhale, shoulders back, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Come all the way back up, inhale, look up. And this time, fold down. And then walk your hands over to the right. Big stretch, resting the body over the, over the leg. And then coming all the way over to the other side. And then coming back to centre. And then resting the head down and taking three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Walk the hands back. Push back, downward facing dog. Press the right heel down, left leg. Raise it up high. Whoop. Giving myself some space. Down and up. Big stretch in that right leg. Two. Keep the hip pointing down so we're not opening up the foot. The toes are pointing down. Four. One more here. And five. Bring the leg all the way forwards into a pigeon pose. We slide the right leg back, we come down and we walk our hands and we rest our body over onto our left leg, onto the left thigh, breathing here. And then we walk our hands over to the other side and rest down. And then we take our hands over to the centre, big stretch. Here for three, here for two, here for one. Walk the hands back up, big stretch, and then just slide that leg back, coming into a plank position, and then lower yourself down all the way down to the floor. So we're relying on our tummies, fingertips in line with the shoulders. Bring the elbows back, look down at the floor, inhale, pressing up. Shoulders back, exhale, come down. So we're not dumping all of our weight and all compressing into the lower back. We think about lengthening up and out, getting a stretch through the core, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, and down. And one more, coming all the way up. And down, good. Take the hands off the floor, take the legs off the floor. Look down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, draw the elbows back, lifting the legs high. Nice straight legs, squeezing and working the muscles down the spine. And then taking the arms out to the side like an aeroplane. Not hunching or tensing it, tensing in our neck. Let's draw the shoulders away. Lift the fingers, lift the toes. Nice straight legs, then reach those arms back. Really strong in the arms, active in the triceps reaching the fingers back towards the ankles, lifting the chest, and then pulse the little fingers together, squeezing the shoulder blades, squeeze, 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 keep squeezing. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down, push back into a child's pose. Reaching the arms forward. Breathing here. And then coming all the way up, tucking the toes. Just tuck the toes under so we get a stretch in the top of the feet. Interlace the fingers, 
reach the arms up to the sky, pressing the palms up towards the ceiling. Breathing here. And release. Interlace the fingers one along. Trying to stick with the feet here, trying to get that lovely stretch through the toes and the ball of the foot. And release it here. And then coming down, straightening out the legs, sitting up nice and tall, taking one leg up and over. So we're coming into the twist. Opposite elbow grabs the knee. Place the fingertips on the floor, lengthen the spine, inhale, and then exhale, look over the shoulder. Twisting here. Breathing here. Big stretch. And release. Other side, lift the leg up and over. Grabbing the crease, grabbing the knee, lift up. Straighten the spine, look over the opposite shoulder, keeping your straight leg nice and active, toes pointing up to the ceiling. And release. Extending both legs out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Try not to round the spine. Just think about keeping the back nice and flat. You might be able to grab the toes. If not, just grab the ankles or below the knee. Shoulders back. Tummy in, looking forwards, stretching here, keeping the back nice and straight. Big stretch through the back of the legs. And release, bring the soles of the feet together and just bounce the knees out to the side. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And then keeping hold of the toes, coming forwards. Dropping the head down, big stretch through the whole back, rounding forwards, chin to chest. And then coming all the way up, sitting up nice and tall, crossing the legs, placing the hands on the knees, shoulders back and down, tummy slightly engaged, shoulder blades slightly joined together so you open across the collarbones and the chest. Close your eyes, relax your forehead, your eyes, your jaw, and take in three deep breaths to finish. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Open your eyes.